everyone, it's Danny from Bell's Beauty Box. Today I am going to show you how to do a raised design um, in leopard print. Um, so what we're going to use is Pipsqueak for the back colour. We're going to obviously top coat it before we do the raised design. So obviously when we finish it's going to have some sort of protection. Um, I'm going to use a builder gel called Build Me Up from Magpie Beauty. Um, I just prefer doing raised designs with a thicker consistency. Um, usually I do it with gel polish, but I always find I have to do like up to four. Me personally, anyway. Um, and then I'm going to use Arthur um, in black super holographic, which is very nice. Um, to finish her off. So let's just move this out of the way. So what I've done is, as always, is buffed the nail pop with just a buffer. So let's get started with the base coat. So we're gonna pop that on as normal. So we're gonna do two coats because obviously we're not covering the whole nail with a design. So we want full coverage. That is cut number one. So we put that in for curing for 60 seconds. Okay, so now that's done, I am going to add the second coat. And pop that one on. Love this color as well. I feel like the nude nail is the new version of like a French manicure. Like nude is the go-to. I don't like French manicure. Yeah. So pop that in again for 60 seconds. So now that one's done, we are gonna go in with our Don't Be Tacky uh, dry top coat. Give that one a nice cover. We're gonna do two covers because when we buff to make it matte, we're only going to buff away that one layer instead of buffing away the whole top coat and then leaving the nail kind of exposed. So that one's going to go in for 60 seconds. Okay, so now that's done, we are going to give it its second top coat. Just slightly thinner because we're only going to buff away the shine so we've got a matte finish and then we're going to cure that one for 60 seconds again okay so now that's done what we're going to do because obviously it's dry top coat we're going to go straight in um, with the buffer so I'm just going to move a 180 just softly softly we'll do it just to take off that shine even though the shine's fantastic we don't want it for this particular nail so if I have my file correctly just let it all off the end, what we shall do is just go over the um, nail with prep and dehydrate liquid, just gets rid of any oils you've kind of transferred on or those little lines it kind of gets rid of, so it's still a little bit shiny in places. Let's go over it again, just make sure you've got everything, because you don't want it to look half matte, half shine. It just look a bit weird. So you're only taking off that second layer of top coat. So just go in and over. And there we have your matte nail. So then I'm gonna use uh, build me up clear. Um, just put a little bit. I use the back of a spill tray, for like a palette. I really want the fancy glass palette for Magpie, but priorities. Um, so I'm just going to take, because it's quite thick, you don't need a lot, but just take enough to pop on to the back. And then instead of using a brush for this, because it is slightly thicker, I'm going to use the smaller end of a the dotting tool, which is also magpie. 
So there's no kind of rules of like how things should look because if it's freehand, it's going to look different to you know the next person. So I'm just going to start by adding my design. Like I said, there's no right or wrong. I think it's better when it's um, when it's kind of your own thing. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that there very well. I'm trying to watch and do it at the same time. Probably isn't the best idea. But you'll get the gist of how it will kind of come together. And I'm not saying it's going to be perfect because I'm not a Picasso. But just give it a try. Like if you've got an idea, just give that idea a try. We've all got to start somewhere. So the reason I wanted to do this as well is because my client next time wants something a bit more um, simple. So this is going to ideally, well that's if she likes it, it's going to be an accent now for her. I'm probably going to go for like a nude set and then this kind of, well, <laughs> whatever this is going to be. Um, uh, it's like the ring finger, good old ring finger. Um, and I've chose the black glitter because her next appointment's going to be around Halloween, I believe. So um, even though she's not like into the, the ghouls and goblins, um, we're going to do something a bit Halloween-y. So right, so that is it all painted on. I know it doesn't look like much at the minute. So we're going to cure that for 60 seconds. So now that's cured, <clears throat> I'm going to just add a little bit more build me up to my DIY palette. And then we're going to go over the design just to make it a bit more raised. Now the trick with this, well one, you need a really steady hand, two, um, you need to make sure you get it exactly on the previous because if you're not using the same color gel underneath as what you're gonna cover it with on top then all you're gonna see is gaps so we're gonna try our damnedest to get it all over the design every little bit and then it should sorry I've got a bit quiet when I'm focusing but you get the idea of what I'm doing and then nearly done and then my favourite bit's coming up I like this bit coming up um, nearly done just two more on Oh, nearly went out. Never do this when you're cold because it shivers. Sounds like crazy. Right, so then I'm going to get my second spill tray. I'm going to use Arthur. I'm not going to cure this um, layer. What I'm going to do, be brave, be very brave, and just pour it on. Obviously, it's all going to go on a spill tray, so don't be worried. And give it a good cover. Just get off the excess to see if, like, fingers crossed, you haven't. Let's see if you've missed anything. It's looking okay that I haven't missed. So then what I'm going to do with that is pop that in for 60 seconds just to give it a good cure. Now I'm going to use my duster brush, Danny's best friend, and save all this lovely lot for another time. Hopefully for when she's having hers done and she likes what I've done. If not, she's having it anyway. 
and go to the sapphire for nothing. So, that's the way. Hit me later on. So once that's cured, just gonna, yeah, that's fine. So it's obviously gone right through. Just get the duster brush and get off any, this is where my OCD goes crazy. I'm like, oh, get off, get off. So, just go through it all, get it all off. And you can also do this with any kind of design you want. Now that's it complete. Now, let's face it. If I put this in a zoo tomorrow, you're not going to confuse it with a leopard, but you get the idea. All leopard print, you see it all the time. It's different, different shapes, different colors. So just give it a go. I hope you like, if you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys, bye.